All right, so let's just see how big is the S10 Plus. So if you do a lot of looking at phones like I do, every time there's a new phone out, I check to see how big it is. Uh, and most people, they get excited about these six inch phones because they're thinking of the phones of old, where the old phones that were six inches used to be pretty big. Now if it's 18 by nine, a six inch phone, it's not that big. So for me, the new standard is 6.4 inches, but they found a way to shrink it even smaller. So the Note, or the S10 Plus, is 6.4 inches, which sounds like a big phone. The Note 9 is 6.4 inches and is a fairly large phone. There's a drastic size difference though, right? So this case is the Note 9's heavy duty case from Samsung officially. This case is the S10 heavy duty case. So you can see, even with their thick cases, there's a big size difference, and they're both 6.4 inch screens. Even in the width department, you can see that difference there. And in the thickness, you can kind of see there. So let's look at the actual phone. So this is a thin case I have on my Note 9. This is the Nimbus 9 Phantom 2 case. This, as you can see, you know, a flexible material compared to this sturdy material. For my S10 Plus, I also got this little flip S view case. I like these kind of cases, uh, especially when I travel. I travel for work, so I can kind of use this as a little shield while I'm working or talking to people. Or airplanes, right? It's good to have that little shield action. Here's the one for the Note 9. You can fit the one for the S10 entirely in the one for the Note 9, right? And the S10 won't fit there, but the S10 rugged case fits inside the Note 9 Nimbus 9 case just fine. So when everyone starts talking about phablets and all that stuff, the old notes were definitely a phablet, uh, if that's even a word anymore. I would say the current Note 9 is still kind of in that ballpark. This guy is not. So don't forget, you know, we changed the ratio. So here is the Moto Z2 Force. Uh, this is when phones were still commonly 16 by 9. Uh, so the 3 came out last year. And the 4 will be coming out this summer. So this is almost a 2 year old phone. This was a 16 by 9 inch, 5 and a half inch screen. Physically, you can see it's also much smaller than the Note 9. But, it's probably the same size as the S10 Plus. Maybe a slight slight difference in height. Obviously a lot more screen real estate on the S10. So you can see big difference, right? Even if you go to so you can see to line up those bars. You know, a lot more screen real estate on the S10 Plus. But same, roughly the same physical size as the Moto Z2 Force. For its day, one of the biggest phones and one of my favorite phones of all time was the LG V20. The LG V20 was also a five and a half, uh, a 16 by nine screen, but it was 5.7 inches, and then it had this second screen. Here is the Razer Phone 2. It's also 16 by nine, 5.7 inches of screen real estate. As you can see, it's physically larger. So like here I have this little thin, super razor thin, get it, razor thin case. It can fit the whole S10 Plus in there. And this is 16, or 18 by nine, but 6.4 inch screen, whereas this is 16 by nine aspect ratio and a 5.7 inch screen. Personally, 
this would be one of my favorite phones. I had some problems with it and I'll probably be returning it, but I love this physical size. I want all my phones to be this big. Essentially, the closest thing I can get to is this Note 9. If anyone had the Nexus, so this is a cheap uh, T-Mobile phone. The ZTE Z Max Pro. It was like $179 when it first launched. It is a very large phone. This is what, really, this would be the perfect size for me. If you remember the old Nexus 6, uh, that would be pretty much the same size as this bad boy. Uh, I had given this to a senior citizen in my plan, and because you know the physical size is better for them, but it's a little old and busted, so it wasn't working so great. So I moved them over to the LG Stylo 3 Plus, which was a great phone, also 5.7 inches. So, also 5.7 inches would be LG V20. So, the LG V20 is also massively bigger. Well, I mean, physically. It's not a massive difference, but you can see a difference there, right? And you notice it when you're typing, right? So, and then you have the second screen there. So it's kind of like a notch before, a notch was cool. But the Note, you see, is as big as these boys, even a little taller. And essentially as wide. A little thinner, I guess, thanks to the curved screen. But essentially the same size. So that explains why I like my Note so much. Where's the... I was a big fan of this phone. The V20, when it came out, it was getting bashed for being too big all the time. The S10 Plus is, in theory, a big phone. But, we start lining all these bad boys up. I would say it's probably... So if you're looking at the phones like I have them lined up here, you can see a big difference in size between all these. You want to throw in an iPhone. So let's take a look at my wife's iPhone. Let's say you're an Apple person and you're thinking about switching over to something like the S10, which is the latest and greatest. And it is a great phone. I'm not discouraging you from getting the phone saying it's not great. I'm saying it's not big enough for me. But for you, it may be the right size. So you can see with this OtterBox on, the S10 Plus is really can fit inside the otter box easily even if I go full rugged Samsung case it's still quite a bit smaller than the iPhone uh, that is a 8 plus in a otter box so a five and a half inch screen so you know it's a lot to see here so essentially you know, don't be discouraged by the size of this or necessarily encouraged, right? So say you're looking for a lot like me. I like these big boy phones. I want big, giant size. Like you can see, I can't even get my fingers to touch on that. With the Note 9, I can touch. With the Razer, I got to really stretch to get in there. LG V20, sort of touch. With the... Moto Z2 4 so I can damn near overlap fingernails, right? Same thing with the S10 Plus. iPhone with OtterBox, no way. So essentially, if you're worried about phone sizes, the S10 Plus is definitely not too big. I would be more concerned if it's too small. And now if you're, you know, I'm a big feller, 6'1", 240 probably. Solid muscle, just rock hard abs. If you're uh, like just chiseled out of stone, that's what it looks like. So essentially, if you want a big phone, a big wide phone, like for me, for typing with two hands, this Razer phone was where it's at. Typing with two hands on here, on the S10, using Swift key, you know, I just start typing, and look at all that thump, boom, boom, look at that. I could break a thumb, just slamming them in there, just like it's crazy. I like that big wide body style on the, look at all this room you got on the old Razer phone. That's excellent. This Razer phone I've had problems with. So, I wouldn't recommend that necessarily right now either. I would at first, but then I had some problems. So, mine's probably a lemon, but either way, I'm not keeping it. I'll be using this 
Note 9. Uh, I'm going to switch the Note 9 now just to show a little bit of the OnePlus 6T size. So now, here's the OnePlus 6T. I was previously recording on that one, so let's compare it, which is also a 6.4 inch screen, to the S10. You can see they're roughly the same size, really. I mean, I feel like I'm using one. If you have them side by side like this, it's hard to tell, I guess. I can't really get a good angle. This is in the carbon fiber shell, and this is in the our case, and this is the Samsung Rocket case. So when you have that scenario, this is the thickest you're going to get. The OnePlus 6T is just like a smidge taller, and I would say wider as well, with the case on. That's probably due to the curved screen of the Note, of the S10. But you can see, I guess we want to see fingerprint action. Boom. Fairly fast on both of them. Uh, and then you got this little dimple guy versus this guy. So let's go to the Play Store. You can really get an idea. I will say at times, I rarely notice the notch on the OnePlus 6T. This, I don't notice very much, but what I do notice is pretty jarring. Like when you go to an all-white screen, you know, that really sticks out there. And I almost never notice this notch. But of course, on like the phone like this Note, I don't ever notice it because it doesn't have it, right? That's much better. All right, so I don't really have any real major solution for you here. If you're trying to consider between the two, well, I mean, this will tell you one thing right here. If you see, if I go to my reminders, I use this reminder app on Samsung a lot. And one of my reminder here is to set the OnePlus 6T for sale. I've decided with all these phones at my disposal, the LG V20 I'm trading in on the S10 Plus. The Note 9 I love, so I'm, I can't bear to part with it. The OnePlus 6T, I just don't use as much as the others. I was swapping SIM cards around, but I just find I hardly ever use the OnePlus 6T anymore. I even tried to set them all up the same. I used to have like a different setup for all my phones. And then now, just like most of the reviewers you see, I'll try to mimic it so it's easier to switch between them. But I just find myself missing features of the other ones when I'm on this guy. It's fast and quick. I mean, the old S10 Plus is probably just as fast. And then the Razer is pretty fast as well. And the Razer has this big wide body that I like. Just to recap, uh, you know, iPhone here, right? So you see how much more screen you get with the S10 Plus. S10 Plus, definitely not too big. Potentially too small. I'm going to hold on to it. When the 5G version comes out, that's supposed to be 6.7 inches. I'll be all over that guy. You know, I like the bigger phone for my bigger hand. Right now, I've switched, you can see the SIMs out. I switched the SIM back to my, oh, that's my alarm. I switched the SIM out. Uh, you can see it's missing the SIM there because I switched it out. It's in my Note 9, which is this phone, which I'm recording this on right now. My personal choice currently is the Note 9, and the Note 9 is probably on a pretty good sale. The S10 is an all-around stellar phone. If you don't already have a Note 9, the S10 Plus is probably the best thing you can get. I'm sure it's really probably a technically a better phone than Note 9. I just find myself using the Note 9 a lot more. I like that slight difference in size. I notice it, and I like it. So, the answer to the title of this video, is the S10 Plus too big? Absolutely not. Potentially too small. Don't let it scare you away if you think it's too big. Go out to Best Buy, get your hands on it, try it, and you won't be disappointed. It's a pretty solid phone. Alright, thanks for checking me out.